Today's session is showing to how to create a VAV family in Revit. So this is a simple exercise. You can create uh, one VAV family for a mechanical equipment family. This is how we can create. I will show you. So if you like my videos, please subscribe my channel and like it, share it, and give me some feedback also. So we'll go here the family tab and we'll create new one. Open new one, and we'll go here. Uh, there was imperial and uh, metric also, so I use I choosing the metric templates. So we will go here first. Uh, metric generic family template. So I will choose this one generic model. Okay, so I'll I'll, I'll open this one. So this one this the normally we will uh, all the template having like this. Okay. So first of all, we need to set this one. Set this one, and we will um, uh, which which equipment we require. Okay, so we are doing the VAV is the mechanical equipment. So we will go here the family parameter and uh, category and parameter. So now it's in the generic model. So we will go down, go down with the mechanical equipment. Okay, so I choosing this mechanical equipment. It's related to work plane based family. So I need to choose this one work plane based. Other you can keep it the same normal part type uh, okay no normal then click OK then again what we'll do we need to set some parameters so for this uh, for this uh, families okay. first we will do one thing we'll jo just create create similar and we'll give some offset around of four hundred okay. And pick a line and choosing like this left side and left and right and down and up. Okay. Then I need to go here the dimension align dimension I'm choosing. Okay. And then choosing like this and equal and lock it. Okay. I need to lock. Okay. Leave it that one like. And I I choose another one also. And the same thing down also I do it and equal make it equal and I create like this. And we will this this one we will we need to give some parameters. So what we will do, we will click this one and go here the parameter create parameter. Just create it and we will call it as a length. Okay, the other things you can keep it the same like this type parameter. Okay, and another one also you can create this one and we will give it like this one as a width. Okay. Then go here the front side of uh, this one, and what we'll do the same thing we need to do also here, and we'll create one, create similar, and uh, we'll just give uh, 500 offset, and I'll choose this one, okay, and I'll, I'll give like this, okay. And the same thing we need to do the some uh, dimensions we need, we can we need to do here also and we will same things we are we are doing here and we will give like this dimensions and the, the one we will need to set this will call us a height okay then we'll give okay then what we'll do the next one next step is uh, we need to create we never need to go to the reference plan first Okay, we'll go the reference plan and we will create one create one extrusions. Okay, we'll just uh, just took this uh, extrusions, okay, and the pick line, and I will choose pick this this four lines, okay. And lock it, okay. Okay, then trim use trim command and trim it trim command from here and trim it this one. and escape, escape and click ok and again you need to go here the reference uh, front love front front and uh, we need to align this one ask for this one align you can get from the modify tab align to okay otherwise type al and uh, pick this line and align it and lock it and pick this line align it and lock it okay um and we'll uh, cancel this one and go to the 3d view you can you, you can see there's some uh, equipments are created here like uh, like one square is created goodly like the, and then go to the uh go to the front again and we need to uh, do draw some decks over here 
so what we'll do then again again we need to create some create similar okay create sim again we need to we need to show some ducks over here okay so rectangular duck so we need to take some parameter also we need to add and to this one i will offset uh, 100 or uh, I'll, I'll call it as this one i will 50 i take in okay then pick point okay i'll choose this one and i choose this one and i choose this one and i will again i need to give some dimensions over here i'm going like this okay then i giving one another dimensions here and this one i call it as a duck to width okay duck width duck to width okay then click this okay and again we need to give the dimensions over here also click it as a equal and i'm choosing one dimensions over here okay i'll uh, i'll call it that this one duck height okay duck sorry okay duck height and click okay and then you need to go here the create extrusions and uh, and just just set this one click the set one and pick the plane okay and we will we need to set the set this vector over here okay so just to select this line and tap press tab so it will be selected and again um, we need to pick the lines okay then uh, pick the line like this like this like this and locate this all okay and uh, give the trim command and trim it trim it like this trim it like this and trim it like this and give okay so we go to the 3d model 3d view so it was created like this okay then again go to the left uh, elevations or right elevation anyone so you can uh, reduce this one also like uh, whatever you need so it's okay it depends upon you and then we need to this is a now rectangle duct so we need to give some uh, uh, circular duct also over here so the same thing we will go here create extrusions and set first uh, pick plane and we'll choose this one tab it and go to here the rectangle radius you can give 50 or 100 okay and use uh, use circle okay then radius we can type it as 100 okay or you can give 150 also depends upon you okay i give 150 and we'll go here the dimensions diameter diameter we will set as 300 okay and what we'll call it as radius duct round duct size okay we'll call it as a round duct size okay oh, sorry this capital size and we will like, like, give okay and uh, we'll again go here and click this one okay once we go to the 3d so it was a round duct also created then we need to set some set some um pipes also over here so we'll just uh, um, go to the front elevations or right elevations okay so uh, the right elevation we need to give some pipes okay so we just go to here uh hidden lines okay then what we'll do create extrusion set pick a line okay then we need to pick these lines okay so just to pick one line and uh, tab it so it was created and we will just to pick an up or uh, we'll give some offsets pick a line and give some offsets uh 100 mm okay and or, or 200 okay 200 okay 200 both side you can uh, create this okay oh no, no, no. We'll, we'll just leave it this one and go to create and reference line okay and offset to 200 and pick this one 200 okay then then we need to set the dimensions over here also we'll we'll use like this dimensions and click ok and run another dimensions click ok we will just log this one ok 
and then we need to set the, uh, the two pipes over here so we'll just use circle and diameter diameter around 50 okay then i click here and i click here okay then just click this two and click this the channel mark visible and align with this one and align with uh, this one and align with uh, this one and align with uh, this one okay 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 and what we'll call and we need to set the dimensions over here also and first of all first we will select this one and give a dimension and second one also we will give dimensions and first uh, we need to select this one and give the dimension uh, name supply diffuse uh, supply diameter okay for first one we will give us a uh, parameter like this supply diameter okay type like a supply diameter keep it as same as it is and second one we will choose this one as a return return diameter okay diameter okay so this both are set and uh, we will escape and select this one and if you go to the 3d so the both sides are created the both uh, three three side that uh, pipe and uh, round uh, um, rectangular and uh, round uh, that uh, and the pipes are created so next step is next step is uh, we need to uh, set some connections okay what we will do we will we'll just uh, we we'll just create this one wire frame okay uh, we will we'll, we'll see what is happening so we need to give some connections over here first we need to go here the duct rectangular duct go to the create duct connector and select this path okay and escape it and then connect the duct connect the uh, connector first and here is the shape we will choose uh, rectangular and height click here and height we will choose duct height okay and width we will choose duct width okay so it will set here and other things we will um, this is this is exhaust system classification is uh, supply okay or return. where you need you can select that one okay and uh, other things the flow you can you can create like like the water whatever we need another one you can create it and another one we need to set another another one for the rectangular we go to create and that connector and select this one escape and select this one first and go to here uh, this one we will change to round okay and select again and we will choose the diameter diameter for what return of uh, this will be a uh, round duct size okay so we will choose round, round duct size uh, it will fit to that one okay so here you select means uh, you can get here the flow direction this is an, an, a return return duct okay then we will go here the pipes are here so we need to connect some pipe pipe fittings also then go to here the create and pipe connector so we will choose first one escape it and select this one and we will we will give uh, this one the diameter will give us uh, what we will select uh, the supply so then supply uh, diameter we we can choose it okay and here we can change this one like a hydronic supply okay and set it and another one the same thing create and pipe connector and select this one okay and select this one and we will use this one as uh, same uh, return okay this one is supply right this one is return and we will choose the diameter over here um, supply and return diameter okay this both are set and uh, another things we need to give some electrical connectors okay so what we'll do the go to the creator and here is the electrical connector so i choose this place face to connect the electrical i choose that one and escape it and select this one and we will give this one unbalanced power 
and the voltage how much you can give you can give it give it to 125 something like that whatever the fire is coming so you can give that one okay. now this one is user setter the vav has created easily so you can arrange you can, if you can go here they can change whatever the dimensions required you can change it okay hopefully you guys are enjoyed this video and if you like my video please subscribe my channel this is related to AutoCAD and the way tools. Thank you for watching. Thank you for thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel.